In today's podcast, there's nothing like coffee with Wayne Downey to start your day. We love Winterguard and we go to the WGI Championships. And mark your calendars, Blue Devils and Phantom Regiment team up for the ultimate band camp. Welcome to Blue View. just in time for some morning coffee. Wayne, thank you for having us in your home today. Oh, it's my pleasure, Melissa. It's a beautiful day. And it's a beautiful home. Thank it's you. Awesome, thank I you. love it. So, I know that the drum corps season's coming up. Yes, fastly approaching. But what I kind of want to know is what do performers and fans get to do in the off season? Well, there are, there are a number of things. You know, uh, during the fall, there's marching band season. We have a lot of people that cross the boundaries of drum corps and marching band season. Yes. You know, and then from marching band season, we go into the winter color guard season and the winter percussion season, which actually we're at the conclusion of right now. Yes, awesome. I know that we have some cameras over in WJ right now, which is filming Blue Devils Open. Let's go take a look at that right now. What time do you guys have to wake up this morning? Five, Five. a.m. <laughs> yeah, it's a long day, but we're excited. Yeah. We're gonna do an awesome job. I'm Lila Jones. I'm Allie Brown. It's my last show ever, so I'm looking about working it. <laughs> uh, I'm looking forward to the audience and being in the Dayton Arena for the first time in my entire life. Me too. Hi, I'm Jesse Thompson and I teach the Blue Devils Open Winter Guard. The Blue Devils show this winter is called Hallelujah and it's a song by Katie Lang. It's basically just a celebration of overcoming adversity and overcoming um, just anything you've had to deal with in your life. It kind of celebrates what life is all about in a, in a struggle and in a success triumph kind of a way. This is an amazing group of performers, amazing group of people. They are undyingly supportive of each other. They are beautiful inside and out and they lift each other's spirits when they're down and they kind of epitomize to me what their show is about. So everything that they've earned and everything that they've accomplished is something that they absolutely and without question deserve. So it's all the more a pleasure for me to be a part of this group as an instructor. Um, hi, my name is Jacqueline Rao. Hi, my name is Amber Young, and we're the captains of the Blue Devils Open Guard. What did you think of tonight's performance? I really think that today was a culmination, not just in, of the entire season, but also of the 24 amazing people that were out on the floor. And it was something so special that I couldn't have even dreamt at the beginning of the season what it would have been like to be out on the floor with those people performing that show and having that amazing of a time. We have the most amazing parents here at the Blue Devils Open Guard. They blow up our balloons, they cook our food, they buy us bobby pins when we need them, and we couldn't do it without them. And every time we see them, we know that we are so loved and supported that we couldn't ask for more. In our amazing staff, we have Kelly, Jesse, Debbie, Marco, um, Greg, Annette. Like we just have like probably the best staff in the world. I think I love them, and I, they're extremely supportive, and they know like how to push us and when to push us, and. Um, it's thanks to them that we came this far and had this day and that moment and that five minutes that we had. It's the hard work, the dedication, and the unnatural ability to push through that is what brought us to here today. Thank you, Blue Devils! At bluedevils.org, you can keep up to date with current news, Get an inside perspective with member blogs. Download pictures and digital media. Find a show near you with our performance listings and schedule. Be sure to visit our web store where you can find an assortment of Blue Devils merchandise. 
from t-shirts to CDs, DVDs, and more. Stay informed and connected at bluedevils.org. Welcome back. We're here with Wayne Down. He's still having some coffee. So Wayne, I was wondering, what is some of your drum corps history? Oh my goodness. Well, we're going to go back decades now, <laughs> and I, I'm afraid that we should even discuss how old I am. <laughs> um, gosh, I started back when I was 10 or 11 in drum corps activity. And just to give you a brief uh, thumbnail sketch, the first group I was ever in was a Fife Drum and G Bugle Corps. <laughs> And it just did parades. Really? And no valves, you know. I was, I always had one at a valve on my bugle. You know, actually, I played trumpet when I started uh, in elementary school. And, and then I started in the drum corps after that. Then I went on to the, being, and that was called the Comac Chiefs, Fife Drum and Bugle Corps. Wow. And we did firemen's parades. And then my father moved the entire family from New York across the country to California. California's a pretty big state. Yes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. Woo, pretty big state. He moved us into a house right around the corner from Gail Royer's apartment and five minutes from where the Vanguard were rehearsing. Wow. It was like, boo do 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 Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> so anyway, I marched in, uh, in Santa Clara from 1970 to 72. And I was fortunate enough to get, have the opportunity to be not only a performing member, but also a staff member. I was teaching the brass section as well as marching. And I had a couple of good friends of mine that was teaching the brass section with me. Scott Pearson, Mel Canales, just to name a few, Mike Rubino. Um, it was a lot of fun. And I was also the soprano soloist. In the <laughs> Well, uh, I aged out of Santa Clara, and then I ended up moving to Anaheim, California, and I taught the Anaheim Kingsmen in 1973. Really? Yeah. And at the same time I was teaching the Kingsmen, I was also teaching the Stockton Commodores, and who turned into the Royal Commodores. And I got this phone call one day from a gentleman by the name of Jerry Seawright. And Jerry said, gosh, we'd really love to have you come teach this new drum corps that we have. It's called the Blue Devils. And I said, you know, uh, I'm sorry, Jerry, I, I really don't want to do it. I don't have the time, I'm going to school, I don't know if I want to do drum corps anymore. I really, and I don't think I'm going to be available. He said, well, would you please at least come down and just help us out with auditions? You know, that's all, I just need somebody to help us out with auditions, and then uh, that's all I need. I said, okay. Well, I went down in auditions and did auditions. Loved the kids, loved the organization, and that was 33, 34 years ago. So I guess I got stuck. <laughs> and you were just going to help out with auditions. That's all I was going to do. And of course, it went from doing auditions to the Blue Devils forever, you know. So, yeah, so I've, I've been experiencing a fabulous life um, in the drum corps world, um, spearheaded by my experiences with the Conquer Blue Devils. I know that you've been with the Blue Devils for a very long time, and it's kind of hard to pick just a Blue Devil show that you like. What about other chorus shows? Well, you know, I'll tell you, that's a, tough, that's a tough question. But I do have a couple of standouts. West Side Story, the cadets, West Side Story was just incredible. Well, and I've said it before, it set new standards in a lot of different ways in the activity, but I just thought it was brilliantly composed, brilliantly thought out, and wonderfully performed. The next show that I think is my one of my favorite shows uh, is the 1989 Santa Clara show. I mean, you just Phantom of the Opera. It was just totally incredible. It set standards not only in performance, but the challenges that the individuals in the group had to achieve, the velocity of speed of motion, the intricacy of the music, it just really blew my doors down. When we get to the 2000, years 2000, well then I have to say the Cavalier's performance, not only the performance, but the Cavalier show frameworks, the composition, both visually and musically, was brilliant.
I would say those are probably my three, not in any particular order, uh, you, know, uh, you know, favorite shows. And you have to realize that, you know, the staffs and the composers, the arrangers, the drill rise choreographer, color guard staffs, we're a big fraternity. You know, so I'm talking to you about some of my best friends that have had incredible intellectual as well as compositional success. Of course, and they are all wonderful shows. So let's take a look at a few of those shows right now, and after that we'll be discussing a new exciting clinic coming this summer. All the magic takes place. Absolutely. Follow me. Okay. <laughs> about music education now. Sure. So I know it's a really important thing for the Blue Devils, music education for the youth and everything Absolutely. like that. Absolutely. Right. And I know that Phantom Regiment and the Blue Devils are getting together this summer and doing a whole band camp experience. The tell ultimate us, band camp. Of course. Right. Let, tell us a little bit about that. Well, the ultimate band camp is an opportunity for not only students but as well as teachers to interact as well as perform with both the staff and members of the Phantom Regiment and the Concord Blue Devils. That's yeah, incredible. You know, I, I, I wish I had the opportunity when I was that age to be able to kind of interact with my heroes and my idols. Of course. You know, I mean, uh, first of all, you're going to have kids that are in high school, uh, maybe even younger than high school, participate, that are just drum corps fanatics. And they're going to say, oh my God. I get a chance to be on the field and play with the Blue Devils and the Phantom Regiment, you know, and they're going to be like completely blown away. And then you'll have your students who don't know anything about drum corps, and then they're going to get the indoctrination into what the activity is. And you know, they're going to be sorry because they're going to start to scratch and itch, just like all we all did when yep. we got involved in drum corps the first time. All of a sudden, you don't know why, but you have to be at every rehearsal. You know, great teachers, great music to play, great experiences with each other, learning from the kids in the Blue Devils, learning from the kids in Phantom Regiment. You know, so they're going to get that wonderful chance to perform at the end of the band camp. And plus, an opportunity to go to the Murfreesboro show to see all those fabulous DCI drum corps. That's amazing. Oh, These gotcha. kids are really having the experience of their lifetime right now. Absolutely. I wish I got to do something like that. <laughs> you had your share of wonderful that's, times. That's true. Absolutely. That's true. <laughs> and if you would like some more information about the Ultimate Band Camp, you can go to bluedevils.org and there's a link right on the front page. And when we come back, one last question for Wayne and a little bit more drum corps. Summer nights are for drum corps, and it all starts in June. Get your tickets to the most exciting drum corps shows in Northern California. NorCal Nights, featuring the best corps in the world. Great seats available at these great shows. The Pacific Procession in Hayward. 
the Kaleidoscope Classic in Modesto, Precision West in Pleasant Hill, and the fabulous Moonlight Classic in Stockton. For more information and tickets, go to DCI.org or call 800-495-7469. The best drum corps in the world will be at NorCal Knights. Get your tickets now. to be in the, the Hall of Fame. The incredible people that have been honored by being inducted into that fraternity is incredible. Uh, 1991 was the year I was inducted with Jack Meehan, matter of fact. And uh, it's really, I guess, a salute to all the hard work that not only I have done for the activity and the you know, my students, but also saluting all of the other fabulous people that are in with the Hall of Fame. Of course, and congratulations on thank that one. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And thank you for inviting us in your home today. My pleasure. We had some fun, didn't we? Yes, we did. Absolutely. And thank you for the coffee. Oh, it tasted good, too. Yes, it did. <laughs> and as always, you can send any questions or comments to blueview at bluedevils.org. Now let's end with a few more of Wayne's favorites. Take care, everybody. So long. Tied you to a kitchen chair